let's calculate your cat percentile fine the most common question i get after the cat exam immediately after cat exam i attempted that much question what should be my percentile har bachcha ko ek hi chahiye mere ko percentile kitna aayega i don't want to wait for 45 days i want the immediate result theek hai so that, that's why a lot of coaching classes have come up with the uh, calculator kind of a thing where you submit your details and you'll get your uh, this thing you get your percentile fine this is all fake no one can find a percentile because no one can predict your accuracy theek hai so but the main thing why they do all this thing because they want a database ek bar database mil gaya to we can do, do the marketing and all this thing to you theek hai this is how the coaching classes work fine so i would recommend don't give your details phone number email id to any site because they will start calling you every day theek hai so please keep your pen and paper uh, ready because the next 5 minutes we are going to calculate your percentile theek hai and i can promise you ke mota mota utna hi aayega fine but probable problem is i need to know what is how i did i can't wait for 45 days i am we we are in a era of instant result i want to know today where i stand fine so obviously i need to know my percentile number two thing because you to apply to the colleges right now before the result is out i need to know a ball mark number where i stand so that i can kind of a predict what can be the colleges where where, where i can apply for theek okay. hai number 3 reason i need to know my cat percentile so that i can apply for the i can according to that prepare for the other exams and mats nab zat all the exams theek okay. hai so we need to know that so now why is it all fake because no one can predict your percentile so we have two even the calculator which i made there two assumptions are made number one accuracy which you tell me is a correct accuracy theek okay. hai no one can pre- प्रेडिक्टर एक्यूरेसी आपने दस क्वेश्चन के मेरे दो राइट है कि आठ राइट है कि दस के अंदर दस दस राइट है नो वन कैन टेल ठीक है सो वी आर एज्यूमिंग योर एक्यूरेसी इज राइट सो ऑन द बेस ऑफ योर मॉक्स स्कोर ऑन बेसिस ऑफ योर परफॉर्मेंस कैट एग्जाम यू हैव टू टेल मी हाउ मच एक्यूरेसी हैव गॉट नंबर टू इज अ स्किल स्कोर ऑल दिस अजम्पन्स आर बेस्ड ऑन द स्किल स्कोर ऑफ लास्ट ईयर सो दिस इज ऑल्सो फ्रॉड नंबर वन एंड फ्रॉड नंबर टू वर टू सेपरेट एग्जाम द लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी इज ऑल्सो नॉट सेम सो I'm going to give you two cutoffs. According to that, we'll decide how much will be the cutoffs. All right. Now we'll do the most important slide of this video. You need to calculate this table. So please pause the video. You can draw this table on your sheet or just calculate and put your marks here in the end. Fine. So let's look at the verbal section first. We'll do section by section. In theta question, my attempt was let's say eight. Out of eight, I did five right. Okay. So five marks into five question to three right, I get fifteen marks. Okay. So there is no ne- negative marking, so my overall score will become fifteen. Okay. So this is chalo simple, but when it come to the non theta MCQ question, this is there one third negative marking. Have to look at that as well. Fine. So I did around eighteen question. So eighteen into three. Fine. Out of eighteen, sorry, my correct is let let's say twelve. So twelve question I did right. Twelve into three, thirty six marks. But negative one third marking. I'm losing one one mark each on every wrong question. So minus six, I'm getting thirty marks. So total become forty five. So verbal score forty five. Similarly in uh, quant, let's say I attempted eight theta question. I have done eight question correct out of ten based on mock score, based on what I feel. This is a gut feeling, and that is the only thing which we can't predict. Okay, we can only assume something. We don't know exactly how much will come. Okay, and I did let's say three to five, five of five uh, right after that. So again, I'm getting fifteen marks. And non-theta question, I did fifteen question. On me say I did ten right. So I'm getting thirty marks here, but minus three one. Five wrong question minus five, so I'm getting twenty five. So my score in quant also is forty five. So like way you calculate the all the three scores, quant, verbal, di. That is one way to calculate your percentile. The long way. Okay. If you don't want to go into that detail, if you can just simply calculate your attempt and correct. Sir, इसको देखो. Twenty attempt, fifteen correct. ठीक है, सो आई गिव यू द एनालिसिस ऑन बोथ दिस थिंग्स ऑन बेस ऑफ द स्कोर एंड बेसिस ऑफ योर अटेम्प्ट्स, सो फर्स्ट लेट्स लुक द इजी वन फर्स्ट लेट्स लुक द अटेम्प्ट फर्स्ट कितना अटेम्प्ट किया यू राइट डाउन योर अटेम्प्ट हेयर फर्स्ट बिफोर वी सी द मार्किंग्स अटेम्प्ट आउट ऑफ थर्टी वर्बल कितना अटैम्प्ट किया ट्वेंटी अटैम्प्ट एंड कितना क्रेक्ट किया लेट्स ए बार अटैम्प्ट डी आई आउट ऑफ सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन 
I attempted 16 question and correct I assume is 12. Same for quant, I attempted 20 question, I am expected correct as 12. Jo bhi hai, take that number out and then we look at the percentiles. So in a summary view, this should be your accuracy for 70 percentile, 23 correct out of 100 is more than sufficient. 80 percentile 28, 90 percentile 35 and 99 percentile 52. This should be your ideal correct. The level of difficulty of both the slots were quite uh, different this year. So there's a separate video I'm going to make on that because no normalization is going to affect your percentiles. Fine. But as of now, let's look at your the made two tables now for slot one, slot two. So for slot one, this is your how the percentile will look like. So depending upon how much you have scored, for example, verbal, I did my this is my attempt and this should be the correct. Correct. So in verbal, my oral attempt is around 15, correct is on 15. So I attempted on 20 question, correct is 15. So my expected percentile is around 95 percentile in the verbal session. In DI, I could do only 8 question right, I think. So 8 question right will be around 80 percentile. Okay. And quant, I did around again 20 question right because I, the section was quite simple. So I could do 20 questions, you are getting 99 percentile. So verbal 95, DI 980 and quant 99. This is what you think you are getting. So like this, please pause this video and try to find out where you stand. Because that number you need to know of individual percentile and the overall. So overall, if you are correct is this, you can mark it. For example, overall, my correct is 42. So I'm expecting 95 percentile. Okay. Similarly, for the uh, slot 2 student, that's your graph. So please pause the video and try to find out what percentile you can expect. Fine. For example, if I give you my, if I take my example, I, for example, I did 18 question in verbal and I'm expecting 12 right. So I'm expecting 90 percentile in verbal. DI was quite simple in uh, set 2. Not very simple, obviously, but there were three sets which you could easily have done. So I'm expecting 12 question right. So 95 percentile. Quant was very simple. Very simple as compared to obviously lot 1. Not simple as compared to other exams. But as compared to CAT, DI and Quant was easier. So I'm, I did around 21 question I'm expecting to be right. Okay, so I'm expecting 99. So 99, 95, 90 percentile. This is what I expect. So please find out your expected score so that accordingly I can see which college I can get. Okay, so that was based on your uh, attempt and correct. Now we'll talk about the scores. So if you've done your first calculation, finding out your scores, I got 45, 45, 30, 28, 28, 30. Based on the basis of that, we'll cal calculate your percentile. So verbal, if you have 27 correct, you are getting 70 percentile, 27 marks, not sorry, attempt. We calculated that to be 45. So at 45, I'm expecting around 95 percentile in the verbal section. DI, my, my score came out to be, let, let's say 30. So I'm expecting 90 percentile. And quant, I did 45. So I'm expecting again 95 percentile. So 95, 95, 90 is my expected percentile. So according to that, I can apply to colleges. Okay. So calculate your percentile according to your score. So earlier was the cutoff was percentile was based on the attempts. This is a percentile based on your score. So in this calculation, we have made two assumptions. Number one, I'm assuming some accuracy based on my mock score and all. Number two, I'm putting this against the raw scores. Uh, scale scores of last year. Now let's look at the cutoff for the last year uh, called colleges, which which college was at what stage, so that we can note which college I can expect. So these these are the colleges which are in the range of 50 to 60 percentile, depending on your score. So please pause the video and note them down if you are in that percentile range. If you have expected the percentile between 60 to 75, these are the colleges. Again, please pause the video and take a note. These are colleges around 75 percentile cutoff. Colleges in the range of 60 to 75 percentile are here. Most of the good B schools start at 80 percentile. That's why you get the maximum number of colleges at 80 percentile cutoff. So that's the list. So top me, all these colleges are there which are have a cutoff of around 80 percentile. Colleges with 85 to 90 percentile are listed here. Please pause the video. And that's the main colleges, all the cream colleges which are 90% plus, 90% plus 
to 99 percentile these are the list all right i hope you understand now what can be your percentile in the cat exam i can be fairly sure of that your percentile will range around that area fine because we have considered the slot one and slot two ka cutoffs as separate cutoffs okay so the base of this thing and your percentile colleges uh, which are accepting those scores and their cutoffs so we can apply to the colleges now all right so if you have any more question to me you can put in the comment box i'll be more than happy to reply fine so please look at the table find out a percentile so that you are you can easily know where we stand all right in case you want to buy our program for the non cat exam we are going to launch the program for snap zat test all the cet all the other exams you can click on the box here and please subscribe to the channel on this circle so they can get all the updates of the future videos which i'm going to upload sorry thank you very much for watching this video